Each year in the, in the United States, there are 20,000 people who are diagnosed with acute myeloid leukemia. And unfortunately, 10,000 people uh, die each year from this condition. Uh, most hematologists uh, know that uh, uh, over half the population with AML are diagnosed over the age of 65 years. And in this elderly population, uh, treatment has really been pretty much non-existent in terms of effective therapies. Low-dose cytarabine, which has been used uh, as a low-intensity treatment for older patients with acute myeloid leukemia, has produced historically response rates of less than 20% and expected survival durations of less than six months. So this new trial, which incorporates venetoclax, a small molecule with very high specificity for targeting BCL2, uh, this molecule is combined with low-dose cytarabine to see if clinical improvements uh, could be obtained in older patients with poor risk uh, AML. So a phase one, two trial was done uh, in a multi-center setting and ultimately involved 61 patients who received venetoclax at a dose of 600 milligrams uh, per day. Started at 50 milligrams on day two and increased through to 600 milligrams uh, by day six of uh, the first cycle. Low dose RSC was combined uh, at a dose of 20 milligrams per metre squared uh, given daily for 10 days uh, every month. The preliminary results uh, from these 61 patients uh, demonstrates that overall responses were obtained in 61% of patients, which is essentially uh, three times what has been observed historically uh, with low dose uh, RSC alone. Furthermore, with eight months of uh, follow-up, uh, overall survival uh, is currently sitting at 64%, again, which is uh, quite unusual for an elderly AML population with median survivals of generally only a few months. Among the 61% of patients who had a, a clinical response, uh, the overall survival uh, currently sits at 80%, again, a very encouraging uh, results in this population. Furthermore, there were quite encouraging results ob obtained in various uh, clinical subgroups of AML. For instance, patients over the age of uh, 75 had a 70% clinical response rate, uh, patients with adverse uh, cytogenetic risk 47%, and patients with uh, uh, secondary AML 52% uh, response rates. Interestingly, in this uh, study, uh, patients who had previous exposure to hypomethylating agents for myelodysplastic syndromes were able to be enrolled and there were 17 patients in this category and the response rate in this group of patients was 52 percent uh, which is quite a, a good result considering uh, there are no other effective therapies for this population of patients. So as a result of this study uh, further follow-up and expansion is currently being uh, undertaken and we hope that a randomised trial uh, will be performed uh, in the coming uh, uh, few months to, to try and explore this really interesting therapy further.